September 22nd, 2015. Uh, I had a bad fall at work and had a spinal cord injury to my C5 and C6 vertebra. Currently, there are about 300,000 people in the United States who are living with spinal cord injuries, about 18,000 new injuries a year. The higher up, the closer to the brain, the less function people have in the arms. As the injury occurs lower, there's more function. The chair is able to give me a lot of mobility. It's not the same as walking, but I'm able to get around without really much restriction or fatigue. However, when it comes to picking up small things, taking a drink, reaching for something in a cupboard, it's really difficult being able to do those things. For many individuals, there are duplicate muscles, meaning there are two different muscles that do the same job. We only need one of those two muscles to be functioning, therefore there's one which is a donor muscle. We can cut the tendon of that donor functioning muscle and move it to the tendon of a muscle which is no longer functioning and thereby restore the activity of the lost function. This hand I wasn't able to open or close at all. It was just completely passive. I wasn't able to pinch with either one of my thumbs and I got a lot of pain in both my thumbs from trying to use them. So being able to actively grasp something or pinch something was not possible for me. And then I also had no tricep function either. His expectations met what we can surgically provide. And as such, he was really motivated to try to use these surgeries. Treating patients with cervical spinal cord injury for tendon transfers requires a team approach. Our team works together to identify patients who are ideal candidates for these procedures. After surgery, we coordinate the post-operative therapy, which is as important as the surgery itself. So now with this hand, I'm able to open the fingers up much farther than I was able to before, and I'm able to close them. And when I close them, I have a tight grip. And then my thumb also comes down and pinches and gives me a good amount of pinch as well. And because my thumb is fused, I don't have that pain in my joints from that thumb being stretched all over. Also in my tricep, I'm able to extend my arm out at zero gravity and even against gravity. Before this hand was restricted to almost just being able to push things with it, it's to where now I can hold things. I'm able to control them a lot better. I'm able to maintain a grasp for things from picking up cups to brushing my teeth to using my phone. So I have a lot more ability with both hands and in both arms too. These are the most satisfying patients with whom I get to work. To see someone who has difficulty with everyday activities, holding on to a knife or fork, not being able to hold on to a pen without weaving it through their fingers, uh, a teenage boy who has to have mom place a urinary catheter instead of being able to do it for himself, and then to do the operations and have him activate that muscle and for the first time he can pinch when he hasn't been able to do that since the time of his injury. To see that look in their eye and their face light up that the function is back uh, is really one of the most rewarding things I get to do as a hand surgeon.